The Capitals push to the playoffs, finds them in Nashville, Tennessee tonight. Bridgestone Arena to take on the Nashville Predators for the second and final time in this regular season. Adam Oates getting ready to see his visitors in the second of back-to-back -back games where the Capitals have been okay in back-to-back -back games, Greg. Yep, going up against Barry Trotz, longest tenured coach in the National Hockey League. Notice who Adam Oates is starting right off the get-go. The fair line to try to set the table for the Caps on the road. Along with Mike Green playing on defense in his 500th National Hockey League and Washington Capitol game. Also some injuries. There's not a single member of this Nashville lineup tonight that has played a complete round of games in this year. As Halak makes a save, a perfect entree for you, Craig, to give us our goaltender matchup this evening. Well, Halak has played one of the last three games, holds the other two. Halak looking for his 29th win. Nice tidy numbers against the Predators in his career. Carter Hutton gets an odd. He's 17, 11, and four. Pretty darn good recently. In his last 16 out outings, Carter has 10 wins in points of 14 of 16. And here comes Kuznetsov. Evgeny Kuznetsov working against Ryan Ellis for the National Predators. Both of those two guys go down to the ice and exchange a little extra in front of referee Paul Dvorsky. In front, Troy Brower slams it home, and the Capitals jump ahead 1-0. That beautiful passing play by the Caps. The Predators got running around in their own zone, and it's just a beautiful setup by the Capitals' second line. And there you go. Win with the top six. They needed a five-on-five -five goal. Check out the left side of the screen. They try to come out. Bad play. It turns over. Little kid up, and look at that pass coming in. That is a thing of beauty as the Capitals execute it. 19 does a great job. Greeny sees the opening, and there he is sneaking in. And timing is everything for offensive defensemen. And Mike Green lays out a beautiful pass to Troy Brower, who buries it. one nothing Caps. Back to the point. Shea Weber passes up a shot. Lines those out. One more. And Yard Puck is robbed by Yaroslav Alok. Malak in his career. Maybe you look at his numbers against the Predators. 10-3 and 3 in a very good goals against. He's been good as a Washington Capital. This is his ninth game. He's got a 4-2-2 two two record. 2.35 goals against 9-2-9. Save percentage. One more for Alak, but the rebound is put home by Patrick Hornquist. Well, when we talked to Barry Trotz this morning, he said Hornquist very underrated. He's a workhorse. He gets abused. He goes to the net. He gets to the traffic areas. And here's a rebound that he jumps on. But notice that shot. Shea Weber's shot may be the hardest, heaviest shot. And it leaves his stick like a golf ball. It sort of have a, has a different trajectory as it leaves his stick. Hits the catching glove. And Hornquist right in the paint to knock home his 16. The Preds have tied it up here in the first. Back to the point. Green throws it to the front of the net. Tom Wilson. Wraparound chance. And Hutton was right there to rob the Capitol rookie. They're not too happy with the Maple Leafs, the fans, or the brass. And the Capitals now have to just about do it their own. If you're worried about other teams helping out, you can forget about it this time of year. You've got to win your own. Big and, we, and a big throwdown with Patrick Way in his first National Hockey League fight against a true NHL tough guy in Rich Clune. Yeah. And Rich Clune has battled way more. That is the 16th fighting major for Rich Clune and Patrick Way, a young man out of Boston College playing only his ninth National Hockey League game, is on the deck and being attended to by Capitals athletic trainer Greg Smith. Yeah, well, Rich Clune's been around a while, and that is cheap play on his part, you know, going after Patrick Way. Last game, remember, it was Wilson and Clune that fought. And Greg, I would be shocked if a rematch is not ahead. I guarantee oh, definitely. it. It's As you see be. that Capitol bench barking. It's got to be. The way Rich Clune jumped an unsuspecting Patrick look Way. At, this is not right his game. Nope. And Tom Wilson has got that look in oh, his yeah. eye. He's going to have to answer the bell. Glaring across at Clune, and here's how it began. Here's how it is. Just a good step up by the Capitals defenseman Way, and then just Clune doesn't like the way he steps up on him. 
And there you see the bout. Well, keep your eye when Rich Kloon gets out of the penalty box on how the Capitals respond to that. Maybe even before Rich Kloon gets out of the penalty box as Tom Wilson is taking number 16 down and continues to glare at him across the ice. I'll tell you what, give Patrick Way high marks for at least standing up for himself as Ovechkin roars down the right side. A spinorama backhand knocked out by Hutton. Snuffed out, and the Predators have an extra man break. Smith to Hornquist, who just blazes that wide. And Tom Wilson blows up a Predator on the far boards. He will finish. Predators win the faceoff. Big shot by Ellis was blocked by Kuznetsov, who's still feeling the effects. Ellis retees, fires, gloves, save a lot. Jay Weber. Yeah, he just didn't have the long uh, curl and drag to get past Weber, who's huge, and then he throws his stick in there. You need about a 10 foot curl and drag. Here's Hornquist in, shoots, and scores. Chance at one end leads to a chance at the other. The Capitals turn the puck over. I mentioned earlier the Caps and the Predators watching the bouncing puck here in the first. Here's OB. Here's Weber's play. If he doesn't stretch out like that, OB's got a semi breakaway. Then it's some quick up and transition. Look at the Capitals on one side. Watch the turnover right there. He actually knocks it back into the zone, which makes it an onside play because Backstrom had it. He lost it. It went into the cap zone, and that's why Hornquist was able to continue in a straight line, and he found himself a breakaway. That goal should be unassisted. Hornquist has a pair here in the first. That they have when they win these games. His first goal was his 100th career goal in the NHL. Orloff, a shot just whistles wide in the final seconds. The Caps trying to dig to get one last opportunity, and the horn goes with some additional pushing and shoving as Tom Wilson is right there again to send a message to Rich Kloon. It won't take much more for these two to finally get things settled after Wilson and the Capitals were upset with what Kloon did to rookie defenseman Patrick Way in an earlier first period fight. All right, I was thinking a little more contemporary. No. Okay, all right. We will find out. Stay with us. We'll get you the answer later on in the broadcast as we are underway here in period number two. Go. Spins away from pressure. Johansson advances around more. Behind the back, Johansson looked for Ward, who's set up in the slot. Johansson down to Backstrom, wraps it around. One more chance. The net is off his moorings, and Don Van Massenhoven blows the whistle. And good stop attempt because all the options for Nick Backstrom were taken away. Obviously, like a lot of teams, they make sure they shield Alex Ovechkin. They stay right on him, so Nick tries to power himself into the net and can't get it past Hutton. Moments ago, you see the great chance that Brower has. Notice a good clear by Fisher, or Alex has a layup. And just this last power move by Nick Backstrom. Notice he's playing on his strong side, so he's able to use his forehand to get a lot of mustard on the puck, not his backhand. Carter Hutton this season, 17, 11, and 4. After playing the last two minutes of the previous. Johansson in front. Brower's back in. He scores! Troy Brower's second of the night with the extra man, and this game is deadlocked at two. Nicely done by Brower. The first one a layup, this one a backhand, and he makes sure he gets it up past Hutton's blocker. All establishes with a good setup. Notice Nick going down low. The stuff attempt doesn't get through, but it goes right to Troy Brower, who's got a nice backhand in front of the net. Here's the pass across. The intercept trying to be made by Fisher, and Brower goes upstairs. He's ought to not forget, 40% of the Capitals' goals have come on the power play. Timing is everything. That was critical for the Capitals to score on that one. Here's Eric Fair looking for more. One more chance for Ward, and Hutton makes his biggest save of the night. Yaroslav Alak had kept the Capitals in it. Now it's Carter Hutton's turn to rob the Washington Capitals. Anticipating to see whether Adam Oates would give him a little more ice time. He's out there on left wing. Well, in the first period, he played 540 alone. Here That's is a lot of ice time. 
Finding Ovechkin who comes in. Ovechkin leads it for Beagle. Back for Grabowski. One more looking for Ovechkin, and Hutton says enough of that. Uh, tough luck for Grabo. Sort of got caught in between. He's more of a passer than a shooter, and there he got caught thinking pass rather than shooting that puck. So it's a nicely set up play. Notice Ovechkin fakes the shot, which pushes back the D. Beagle, Grabo, and then he tries to go back across. Notice in that photo there, or in the video, that Alex has already passed the net. Look at Alex right here. There really wasn't a pass because he didn't stop and he was going back around. He expected a shot from Grabowski. But he was under duress and made a real strong play to hold on to it to clear the zone. Centers are asked to do so much in oh, yeah. system and none better than number 19. A final thrust by Nashville from a bad angle. It worked its way to the feet of Yaroslav Ulak who makes another save as the Predators pump their 19th shot against the Capitals and Yaroslav Ulak. Troy Brower gave them life in the second period, tying the game with a power play goal. They need two points to stay in contention with the Detroit Red Wings and the Columbus Blue Jackets as we are underway with this third period. We'll see if Brower's late power play heroics in that second period give the Capitals a boost. They start ahead. Jason Chimera throws it in front. That was blocked off and well played on the blue line by Ryan Ellis. Action tries to push it ahead behind the Nashville cage and the Preds turn it away. Some open ice now for Nashville. The drop pass. Fisher looking for a chance. Throws it in front. The deflection solved by Halak. No. It doesn't seem like either side, Craig, wants to make that glaring mistake. Just like a chess match now. You know, everything's indirect, everything's straight up the wall, very north south. Teams are real wary about throwing the puck to the middle of the ice, where both these teams protect very well defensively. Weber pinching in to keep it alive. Back to the point. You see fires snapped out of the air by Yaroslav Alak. If you just joined us late, Patrick Way involved in a fight with Rich Plune at the 1816 mark of the first period was injured during that fight and has yet to play since. So the Capitals have played most of this game with five defensemen. Here Mike Fisher cruises in. Weber shoots and bombs it by Halak. You know, we don't get to see Nashville a whole lot, but watch this play. Little drop pass, Cullen Fisher, and there comes the bomb. And I mean, that is in and out in a flash, but it all starts with the breakout, and then there's that slap shot. You call it 100, that baby looked 120, and right past the blocker side and right pad of the Caps goaltender. In and out in a hurry, Weber has his 21st goal of the season. Nystrom battling for the puck, get some support from Yarn Crew. Or make that Rich Clune, excuse me. Clune, who still hasn't had to face Tom Wilson, who's had very little ice time in this third period. Adam Oates is pretty much gone with three lines. A turnover there, and Halak has got to bail the Capitals out again with the glove hand. Nick Baxter works it back to John Carlson on the line. Returns it to the point leader. Carlson fires, hit traffic in front. Now he recovers. That went right off of Shea Weber's right foot, and he's hurting. Backstrom fires and scores! Nick Backstrom, the NHL's power play point leader, adds to the total with one of his own, and it's tied at three. Sweet looking snapshot by the Swede. Take a look, here's the block shot. Watch Shea Weber. Here comes the shot, and there it is, right off his ankle. That stunk. The Capitals keep it alive. Yossi early on in this power play had a chance to clear and he was ripped off. And here comes Backstrom. Yossi the screen and in front you also have another man, Marcus Johansson. And he just lets that scorching snapshot get past their netminder. This is Colton Sisson. He's getting a rare opportunity after scoring his first National Hockey League goal three days ago against Buffalo. Jason Chimera spins in as the Caps get their green line out for the final minute of regulation. Here comes Shea Weber. Tosses it into an open corner. Gabriel Bork chases it down, but John Carlson plays it to Carl Alsner. Ahead from Mikel Grabowski. Alex Ovechkin out for a final regulation shift. Predators get their signals crossed. Carlson settles it down for Washington. Ahead for Grabowski. He was looking for Beagle. 
Ovechkin's got it momentarily. Lost it. And here comes Patrick Hornquist, who's got a couple for Nashville tonight. Final 25 seconds of regulation. Grabowski just chips it in. Ovechkin held up momentarily. Yossi and Weber out there in the final moments for Barry Trotz. Battle for it at the Nashville Blue Line. Five seconds remaining. Grabowski pushed off the puck by Fisher, and it's back into the Nashville end, and that's the way regulation time finishes. So strap yourself in, folks. A five-minute possibility of extra time ahead. And if no one scores in these five minutes, we go to a shootout. So the Predators get first possession of it. Brower out there working with Nick Backstrom. We see Green and Orloff on defense. Green, Orloff, along with Marcus Johansson, and the Capitals captain. Working four on four. Centering pass, and there was a good stick of Marcus Johansson to stop a little entry by Shea Weber, who was snuck in from his blue line. Now Marcus Johansson with it, with Mike Green trailing. Johansson calls his own number. A stick saved by Hutton at final 50 seconds in overtime. The Predators get their signals crossed, and Weber has to play it back. Colin Wilson now to the Nashville captain, Shea Weber. Nashville taking their time, building momentum through neutral. Patrick Hornquist looking for the hat trick. Had it poked away nicely by Carl Alsner. Wilson comes in to help. Tried to tuck it in. Halak was out of position, but Wilson couldn't get the right angle. Now the Capitals back. Ovechkin in. Shooting. Misses the mark high and wide. Hornquist. A long shot glove down to the corner by Halak. Five seconds left in overtime. And this is going to go to a shootout, folks, as the overtime ends with a little flurry of activity at both ends of the ice. And both captains dead tired, Ovechkin and Shea Weber. And we'll see how Callie Johansson plays things now as Callie Yarncrook, one for one in the shootout, it's arriving here in Nashville in a trade from the Detroit Red Wings. And here he comes. Weaves around, takes his time. Forehand and stopped by Halak. And Halak did not buy any of those moves side to side, just stuck with it, stayed mostly in the middle of the net. Look at the little movement, just quick little pushes, stays right with Yard Croak and makes sure he makes that stop with his left pad. As anticipated, by you, Craig, it's going to be Evgeny Kuznetsov. Does he stay with forehand low to the blocker side? He did and missed. Yep, missed wide. Carter Hutton stayed with him, too. Patience by the goaltender so far. Here comes Kuznetsov in a little tighter than he has been in his previous three shots. And that one just whistles wide of the net. Craig Smith. Has yet to score on the shootout, 0 for 6 this year. Stops, fires, and scores. And Smith beats Halak blocker side. Here it is coming right at you. You'll see the shot, and there it comes, right over the pad and right underneath the blocker. And Craig Smith, the goal scorer, he's a 20-goal getter. He's on the board for the Nashville Predators. Welcome back, Mikhail Grabowski. He is 5 of 10. Fakes the slapper, shoots, and Hutton in the post got enough. Hutton showing me something, staying with it. Grabowski, a little change of speed, fakes the shot, and there's that flexibility that every goalie in this day and age seems to have. Here is Roman Yossi, a defenseman who is 2 of 4 this year, can win it for Nashville. In, and Halak denies to keep the Capitals alive. Sweet went to the same spot that Craig Smith, the goal scorer, went to. And Halak had his arms and body all set for that. And there's that save by Halak, stopping that defense. Here comes the Capitals' closer, Callio Hansen, 7 of 15 on the year. 
But he can't close it here. He can keep the Capitals alive. Slows down, waits, and Hutton makes the save. The Nashville Predators deny the Capitals with all three shooters. And the Caps fail to pick up that important extra point. And the scary thing is, is Nick Backstrom had his had him beat. No Alex infection in the first three shooters. We've seen that the last couple of games. But watch this play. He had him down and out. All he's got to do is raise the puck. And he didn't get it up. And that puck goes right into the net there. See the bobble early on there by Backstrom. Maybe it was a little bit of the snow that was in the middle of the ice that stopped that smooth stick handle. Then he goes in and doesn't put it upstairs. So Carter Hutton is the savior for the Nashville Predators as the Capitals fall tonight in a shootout 4-3 to the Nashville Predators.